Today, you'll learn how to crochet the lemon peel stitch. This stitch pattern alternates between single and double crochets to create this light, lovely texture. It can be crocheted in rows or in the round and we'll cover both in this video tutorial. You can use the lemon peel stitch for any project you want, including scarves, headbands, and here's an example of a lemon peel stitch blanket I'm working on with super bulky yarn. In order to crochet the lemon peel stitch, you'll just need a hook and yarn that match each other. I'm using this extra scrap worsted weight acrylic yarn and a J six millimeter crochet hook. But again, any hook and yarn will work for the lemon peel stitch. You might also hear this stitch referred to as the seed stitch or the griddle stitch. Um, just know that those are all the same in crochet. So let's go ahead and get started. To crochet the lemon peel stitch, you'll begin with a slip knot. And then chain any even number. So I have 16 because this is just a swatch to practice. And for our starting chain, the first two stitches will count as a double crochet, or I mean the first two chains will count as a double crochet. So we'll single crochet into the third loop from our hook. So here's first chain, second chain, and here's the third chain. This is where you'll insert your hook. And I always like to go in on the back bump. So again, here's one, two, and three. So single crochet, and then a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through a loop, pull through two loops, and pull through those last two loops, and then another single crochet. So I've inserted my hook, yarning over and pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through those last two loops, and then double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, Getting some more yarn. <laughs> but I've just got a couple stitches left. Here's a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and a double crochet. Or sorry, and It is a double crochet, but I forgot to yarn over. If you're ever not sure what stitch is next, just check out the last stitch you did. So my last, second to last stitch was a single crochet. So I know I'm gonna finish with a double crochet. So we can count our stitches just to check, but if you're following along with the same pattern I did, you should have 15. So this turning chain two, that's stitch number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And because we did an odd number of stitches, then we started with a double crochet, that chain two, and we ended with a double crochet with that chain. Well, that's not a chain, it's just a regular double crochet. 
I like this because of symmetry, but technically you could do an even number of stitches and you'd start on a double crochet and end on a single crochet. So for row two of our lemon peel stitch, we finished on a double crochet, so that means we wanna start with a single crochet. So I'll chain one, turn my work, and then single crochet into that first stitch because that chain one does not count as a stitch. So here's the first single crochet. Now I'll yarn over for a double crochet. Single crochet. And you'll just alternate the single and double crochets just like we did for row one. Here's a double. single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and my yarn is, all right, here we go, it's getting tangled. So even though there's only two rows so far, you can start to kind of see that texture that the stitch creates. It gets its name the lemon peel stitch because it's kind of bumpy like what the outside of a lemon looks like. You'll also hear the lemon peel stitch referred to as the griddle stitch and the seed stitch in crochet. It's kind of confusing that it has three names, um, but that's just, <laughs> that's just the way it is. So I'm still alternating single and double crochet stitches. Here's a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and this last single crochet will go into the top of that turning chain from row one. So here we go, we've got two rows finished. Now for row three, we know we wanna start with a double crochet. You can do whatever your preferred method of double crochets is, whether it's a standing double crochet, a chainless double crochet, you can chain one and then double crochet, or I'm gonna chain two and I'll just count that as a double crochet. So here's my chain two, now we'll turn I'll skip this first stitch since it already has a chain two in it, and then I'll single crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet, single crochet, and you might have noticed that as you're crocheting, you're putting opposite stitches into each other. So I just double crocheted in the top of a single crochet, now I'll single crochet in the top of a double crochet. And this is part of what keeps your rows the same height. Because you can see I still have that straight edge like if I was just doing single crochets or just doing double crochets. And then I started with a double crochet, so it makes sense that my last stitch would also be a double crochet. <sighs> Since we've got that odd number of stitches, then we always will start and end on the same stitch. So this is starting to look really pretty. To keep doing the lemon peel stitch, just continue to repeat these two rows until your project gets as big as you want it to be. This is a great stitch for pretty much anything. You can make blankets, headbands, sweaters, anything you put your mind to with the lemon peel stitch. We worked the lemon peel stitch in rows, so let's work it in rounds. Begin with a slip knot just like before. 
Insert your hook and chain any even number. So I have 16 chains just for my trial, but again, you can chain any even number. And then making sure your chain isn't twisted, insert your hook into that first chain and slip stitch to join. So I've yarned over and I'm just pulling through all the loops on my hook. So now you have a ring or a circle and we will just do what we were doing before. So say that we wanna start with a double crochet. I can chain two and I won't crochet into that first chain because I already have my double crochet. But now I will, if I can get it in, I will single crochet, yarn over for a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. I made my chain a little bit tighter than I wanted. <laughs> single crochet. double crochet and I'm just gonna do that same pattern rotating single and double crochets all the way around So here's my last stitch, which was a single crochet. Unlike with rows, you don't want to end on the same thing that you started on because they're going to back up next to each other. So I started with that chain two, which was my double crochet, and now I'm ending with a single crochet. So now we'll join to the top of that starting chain two with a slip, knot, or slip stitch. So yarn over and then pull through all those loops on your hook. And previously, when we were doing rows, I was counting a chain two as a double crochet, and we did count it for round one. But now we're not going to do that because there would be a big gap. So I'm gonna chain one and turn, and now I'll double crochet. So this is like your slip knot, so we'll skip that. And you'll actually be double crocheting right here, which is the top of the single crochet from row, I mean round one. So there's a double crochet, and then now here's a double crochet, so we'll single crochet on top of it. Double crochet. single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, and just follow the stitch pattern around. Since you have an even number of stitches, every round will be the same. So you'll always be starting with a double crochet and ending with a single crochet. So there you have it. You've learned how to crochet the lemon peel stitch in both rows and rounds. So you can go forth and work on the lemon peel stitch or the griddle stitch or the seed stitch, whatever you prefer to call it. You can incorporate this into all your crochet projects. If you found the lemon peel stitch tutorial helpful, please like it and share it so other people can find it. 
And then check out the You Should Craft blog and subscribe to the You Should Craft channel for more free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching!